All right, welcome to our final bone. This is our foot bone. We have a superior view of the foot, so this would be standing looking down at your left foot. And if I flip it over, a plantar view of your foot, the bottom of your foot. We're gonna start with this um, view looking down at the top of your foot. We actually call this the dorsal view of your foot. We're gonna get a little bit closer so we can see these bones a little bit better. Uh, just like the hand, we're going to see that it's going to be divided up into an area of small short bones, which are called tarsals. So they were called carpals in your wrist. They're called tarsals in your toe. And these are all tarsal bones through here. These are all tarsal bones. Then we move into the instep of your foot here. These are your metatarsals very similar to your metacarpals. You've got five of them. You start on the big toe side. This is metatarsal one, metatarsal two, metatarsal three, four, and metatarsal five. Next, we move out to your actual toes, and you'll see that most of your toes, with the exception of your big toe, contains three phalanges, proximal phalanx, middle phalanx, distal phalanx. Your big toe only contains two, a proximal phalanx and a distal phalanx, but all the rest of your toes contain the three phalanges. All right, we are going to go through and name our tarsal bones individually. Now, if you'll recall, uh, the hand bones, the carpal bones, the bones in the wrist, I said that you didn't have to learn their individual names, that, but that they would show up as an extra credit question on the exam. I do want you to know all the names of our tarsal bones. So let's go through and learn them now. I'm just gonna turn this around here. We're gonna start with this big bone here. This is called the calcaneus. It's your heel bone. So if you take your heel and you put it down on the floor, you rest in that heel on the floor, you're actually gonna be resting it right here on that calcaneus, the posterior calcaneus. Just in front of the calcaneus, we get a slightly square or cube-shaped bone. This is called the cuboid. So put your C's together. The cuboid sits in front of the calcaneus, calcaneus cuboid. This bone here is a relatively large bone. It's called the talus. It has a nice smooth surface on top of it, and that's where the tibia articulates. So my tibia sits on top of the talus. That's a lot of T's together, tibia, top of talus. Now, if I look in front of my talus, I see this bone here. This is called the navicular, and that's because someone looked at it and thought it looked like a ship. Think Navy ship. So this is the navicular, uh, and it looks kind of like a tall ship, like the ones that Columbus took to the New World. So this ship here, our navicular, has three sails on it. One, two, three. And those three sails are called cuneiforms. We have a medial cuneiform on the inside, an intermediate cuneiform in the middle, and then a lateral cuneiform on the lateral side of that foot. So let's do those one more time. The heel bone is the calcaneus, cuboid, talus, right in front of the talus, navicular, medial cuneiform, intermediate cuneiform, and lateral cuneiform.